Okay, folks, we are going to start today with something simple. Obviously, you guys know that when you do actually go in for a job interview, you're going to be asked some questions. So today I thought we'd go over the 10 most commonly used interview questions. These are the 10 most uh, questions most asked by uh, potential employers, okay? So let's start with number one. First one, what are your interests? Or they might say, tell me about yourself. And you see here, I have a sample response. My interests are that I enjoy outdoor activities and spending time with my friends and family. Now that's a little short, but it gives you a kind of an idea of what kind of answer we're looking to give them, okay? On the right, I have the key here. The question is usually the first question asked, and that's obviously true. And you wanna focus on positive interests. And my suggestion also would be to try to connect some of those interests to whatever the job is that you're applying for, okay? You don't want to give them a 20-minute synopsis of your whole life. You don't want it to be 10 seconds long. You know, you want it to be, you know, 30 seconds, a minute, minute and a half maybe. Just give them some, some, some uh, key things about yourself. Make sure that they're positive. Okay. Second question. What do you know about this company? All right. This should be very easy because, like I have here, I have learned that this is a growing company. Blah, blah, blah. But the key here is if you've done your research... You know things about the company because you went online, you checked them out, you talked to friends. You see the key over here. Size of the company, amount of the employees, who the president of the company is, products, customers, any facts that uh, you might find interesting, okay? The key here is they're trying to find out whether you did do some homework, okay? So any of those things that you could, you could give them would be perfect. So you can just say, you can even tell them, well, I researched the company and I found that this that and the other thing I mean you you just tell them what you know okay this is a very easy question to answer why should we hire you <clears throat> this is a little bit more difficult but every job interview I've ever been on they've asked me this sample response I have here is you should hire me because I am okay and the rest of it's very responsible honest you can put anything on there but you could start it with that you should hire me because I am and then you go with that okay uh, you're trying to sell yourself, okay? Like I have over there. Don't beg. Just show them that you're a, you're a valuable asset, okay? I remember, uh, uh, oh, 10, 12 years ago, I was in the middle of a uh, interview, and a woman came in. She was uh, applying for a teaching job, and we asked her this question. Why should we hire you? And she was very confident, looked us right in the eye, and said, because I'm very good, because I'm stable, because I'm responsible, all those things. And she just impressed me because she was young and she this was her first teaching job and she was already showing how confident she was and how willing she was to, to show us that she could do a good job. And it really impressed me. And uh, we ended up giving her a, a try. We ended up hiring her. So it really does work. <clears throat> what is one of your greatest strengths? Okay. One of my strengths is that I have a strong work ethic, all right? It could be anything. You don't want it to be something like, I'm good at playing video games or something like that. It's got to be something connected with the job that you're applying for. I want you to take this seriously, okay? You see over here on the right, I have work well with others, strong work ethic, quick learner, quality producer, team player, positive attitude. By the way, I'll give you extra credit if you can tell me what's wrong with this slide. Okay, greatest strengths, all right, Not, nothing crazy, just something you're really good at that's connected with whatever job that you would be trying to apply for. How do you handle conflict on the job? All right, this is a big one. You know, how do you handle it? There might be drama at work. There might be someone you might not get along with. You might have someone you work with that is tough to get along with, okay? How would, you, how would you resolve one of these problems, all right? And like I have over here, you want to show the interviewer that you're not going to go straight to the manager with a problem. You're going to try to resolve it yourself first, okay? So think about how you would answer that question. Next one, how long do you plan to work for this company, all right? You want to tell them the truth, but you also want to make sure that they know you plan on being there for a while. You can't say, I plan on working here until I get a better job. I plan on working here for six months and then I'm going to quit and go do something else. You want to tell you, but you want to tell them the real deal. You know what I have here. I plan to work for this company for a, for the long term. 
Sure, I would like to advance within the company. That's very good, okay? You just want to send a message that they're not wasting their time. If, I, if they hire you, you're not going to disappear in six months. You're going to, you're going to appreciate the time and money that they're going to spend training you, and you're going to be there for a while. What are your goals in life? The one I have here, two of my main or two of my goals are to continue my education at a community college and buy a home. You notice they are nothing to do with your job, but at the same time they are because it shows I'm willing to learn to expand my knowledge and I'm going to buy a home, which means I'm going to stay here. Those are the messages that you're sending that potential employer. Okay, so like I said, mature, stable, always improving yourself. That's a very good way to answer a question. <clears throat> what is your greatest weakness? Okay. Now, before I, we read through this, I want to make sure that you understand. Weaknesses are not a bad thing if you're trying to improve upon that weakness. Okay. And that's the key here. They're looking for honesty. So you're going to tell them a weakness, but then you're going to also tell them how you're trying to better yourself in that area. Okay, so my sample response here. One of my weaknesses is that I can be too meticulous. Meticulous means you try to be perfect, okay? I want things very clean and organized. However, I'm working on improving it by learning to find the right balance. See how this person said, I'm, I have this problem, but I'm working to better it. That's what you're looking for, okay? And then these three I have here are weaknesses that are actually descri described as strengths. Workaholic, perfectionist, people pleaser, okay? These can go either way. Key, never say no or none. We all have a weakness, okay? Never say no or none. You need to take this question seriously. They're, they're looking for some things in there about your level of honesty, about your willingness to improve yourself. All of them are, are hidden in this question. So definitely you wanna take it seriously. Tell me about a challenge you faced at work or in your life and how you dealt with it. And this could be anything, something you faced at school, something you faced at home. All of us have something, okay? And all of us have different levels of that something, all right? You don't wanna give them some deep, dark thing that happened in your life, but you wanna show them that you have the ability to handle things as they come, all right? Um, and also be able to solve problems when they when they're faced. You, you know they don't want to have a person that faces a challenge at work and just folds up and says I can't do it. You want somebody who can face that problem head on and deal with it. Okay. Last one. Do you have any questions for me? This is a great one because, like we said earlier in the other slides, you may have some questions that you have written down that you want to ask. Okay. The other part of that is. Um, there might be questions that came up during your interview that you hadn't thought of, but now you do. So some of the sample responses I have here. Are there opportunities for advancement? How do employees develop and learn? Does the company provide training? A lot of these things you're going to be uh, wanting to know, okay? And once again, never, 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 never ask about money. You only talk money when they actually offer you the position, okay? Now, the assignment is attached to your Google Classroom, and it is these 10 questions on a Google Doc, and then I want you to answer those 10 questions, and I want you to answer them honestly, because we have another assignment coming up that's gonna require you to answer those questions again, okay? So if I can figure all that out, we're gonna do it. So uh, I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good luck, have a good day and we'll see you.